So, you just went out, you bought yourself a brand new PlayStation 4 Pro, but one terabyte just isn't going to cut it for you. Hi, I'm Chris Shriver with the Platformers Podcast. Today, I'm going to be upgrading my PS4 Pro's hard drive to a two terabyte hybrid drive. So, you're going to need a few things to update your PS4 Pro's hard drive. For instance, a PS4 Pro. That's probably the first ingredient. You're also going to need a two and a half inch laptop drive. Whether that be an SSD because you want faster speeds or a two terabyte hybrid drive or a two terabyte standard drive like I'm installing today. You're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. It's probably the only way you're going to be able to get into this bad boy. And you're also going to need a USB stick. You've got to make sure that it's bigger than 800 megs, which shouldn't be too hard at this point. It's 2016 people. Get rid of those old ones if you have to. And then you're going to go out to Sony's website and download the full install for PS4. Looks like there isn't a difference between which file you're actually using for the install, um, whether it's for a PS4 or a PS4 Pro, but I'll throw the link in the description below just to make sure that you guys have what you need. So without wasting any more time, we're gonna dive in and get this install going. First, take your PS4 Pro and pop out the plastic tab covering the hard drive sled from the back. Next, unscrew the screw holding the hard drive sled in place. Slide out the drive by grabbing one of the lips of the sled. Next, unscrew each of the four screws holding the one terabyte drive into place and set them aside. Now, take your new drive and put it in the sled with the bottom facing up and the ports facing out. Here, I'm using a two terabyte Seagate Fire Cuda hybrid drive I got from Newegg for $129.99. I did notice with this drive in particular, I had a bit of a hard time installing the drive at first, as it looks to be a bit thinner than the stock PS4 Pro drive. After all of your screws are in, slide the hard drive back in with the plate side facing up and screw it back into place. Pop the plastic tab back into place. If you have one, store your stock PS4 Pro drive into an anti-static bag. And that's it guys. Now all that's left to do is install the PS4 software and transfer your data if necessary. Check the description below for instructions on how those processes work. So that was it for this video. I hope you really enjoyed watching it. I really enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. Also make sure to check out the Platformers podcast on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher. Um, we also have episodes coming up on YouTube little by little. We record new episodes every Tuesday night. Those come out every Wednesday afternoon, morning-ish. Really depends on whenever Brian feels like editing it. What's up, dude? Um, so again, my name is Chris Shriver. You can find me on Twitter at Shrives93. You can find the Platformers Podcast at Platformers Pod. You can also find us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash the Platformers Podcast. Thanks so much, everybody. Take care.